In this problem, we have to find the constants a and b that make this function differentiable everywhere. Let's go ahead and work through it. So, solution. So, we will start uh, by making sure that the value of the derivative um, is the same at 2 for both functions. Because if it's going to be differentiable at 2, um, the only possible issue here might be at 2. So let's start by taking the derivative of this function. So f prime of x is equal to, so taking the derivative of ax cubed, that's going to be 3ax squared. And this will be valid for x less than 2, right? We're excluding 2 here. We're not differentiating at the endpoint. And then here we're simply going to get 2x, and this is for x greater than 2. Right, b is a constant, so its derivative is 0. So we want, we want the derivative at 2 to be uh, the same. So if we were to plug in 2 into this function, if, like, if we were to plug it in here and plug it in here, we want to get the same thing. So we want 3a times 2 squared to be equal to 2 times 2. Right, we, want, we want this to be equal to f prime of 2. Right? We're trying to create differentiability here for this function. We want the derivative to be this. So this is 4 times 3, so this is 12a. And 2 times 2 is 4, so this is 4. Dividing by 4 is going to give us, uh, well, dividing by 12, rather. Whoops, we have 12a equals 4. I'm trying to solve for a. So divide by 12, and we get a equals 1 third. So we have the value of a that will make um, the derivative the same. But now we need b. We need to figure out what b is. So we already use the fact that it's differentiable. So because it's differentiable, it's also continuous. And so in order for it to be continuous, uh, each piece has to be continuous, and they are. And the only possible issue is at 2. So in order for it to be continuous at 2, the limit must exist. So that means the one-sided limits must be the same. So let's take the limit from the left as x approaches 2. So now we're going to use continuity. When you're approaching from the left, x is less than 2. So you use the top piece. And then this is a continuous function on its own, so you can plug in 2. So we get 8a. Now let's take the limit from the right. The limit as x approaches 2 from the right. So when we're approaching from the right, x is bigger than 2. So we have x squared plus b. And now you just plug in the 2 for your x. So 2 squared plus b. So 4 plus b. So we want it to be continuous at 2. So that means that 8a must be equal to 4 plus b. So 8a is equal to 4 plus b. But we know what a is. a is 1 third. So this is 8 times 1 third equals 4 plus b. This is 8 thirds equals 4 plus b. Let's subtract 4 from both sides. So minus 4 minus 4. So we get b equals 8 thirds minus 4. You can multiply this by um, 3 over 3 so that you have a common denominator. Now it'll be 8 thirds minus 12 thirds. So now your value of b will be negative 4 thirds. And so we found the values of a and b that make this function differentiable everywhere. I hope this video has been helpful.